Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to activate title overlays in vMix. First things first, we're going to want to go ahead and open up the program. Then we're going to click on add input. We're going to scroll down here until we find the option that says title slash XAML. And it'll automatically bring up the title overlay section. So there's a couple different ones you can choose from. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to be clicking on the very first one, the classic blue. We're going to click on it and I'm going to click on OK. And then automatically to our left and right side, the title overlay shows up. So it automatically also opens up the headline text and the description text, which is the very first and top one. So we can remove that and replace it with our very own, clicking on it and replacing it for the text. Video test. And then the same thing with description test. Video test. So there's also four buttons above the text that I want to show and talk to you about. It's the very first one is the font. We can also choose the different fonts with vMix. So let's say we want to choose Georgia. We can click on it. It automatically assigns the font. Now the second minus button is to decrease the size of the text. And then to increase the size of the text is the plus button. And the very fourth button is for the colors. So we have three different ways we can do um, colors uh, with vMix for when it comes to text. You can do the hex code. You can do it customizing it, you know, your very own way. Or you can do a fast color. Just clicking on it, clicking on OK. So it automatically replaces the color. We can do the hex code. Let's say, let's see if one two 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 is one of them. We click on OK. It automatically shows up with that code right there. Or we have a fast one. Black automatically signs. It's the same thing for description text. Those four icons are the ones that I wanted to show you and talk to you about. It's decreasing the size, increasing the size, and the font and the colors. Once we're done, we can just click on that one. And sometimes they are even animated. If you click on the one icon, you'll see them show up animated just like that. So one more time, the steps were add input, title slash XAML. We can find ones that we like. Um, you also have logo ones that you can upload your very own logo to. We'll be talking about that in a future video. But um, for now, I wanted to show you just to have a general idea of how they work and how to activate them. So you can definitely, you know, start working on them and playing around with them and sort of getting an idea on, on how they work and customizing them to be your very own. Um, but you just click on the double down, for example. Headline text shows up. Let's click on one so we can see it automatically shows up so headline text is the first one description text is the second one if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i'll be happy to help you out thank you so much and have a great day